Hey there, God bless you. I was praying for everyone who would listen and something hit me like a ton of bricks. I actually sat back in my chair when I saw this. The Lord uttered in my spirit and then showed me a vision. He said, the pinnacle of their career. And then I saw what looked like a diamond shaped award. And in the middle of that glass diamond, there was a person standing there. I could see them moving on the inside, almost like it was a screen. And I could see that they were on one side of an argument as if they were trying to furiously defend themselves. And this is the part that just knocks me back. The Lord with so much intensity told me that they were at the very bottom. So they're at the pinnacle of their career, but at the same time, they had hit rock bottom. The Lord speaks about this in his word, about how he gives wealth and adds no sorrow to it. But there are a lot of people that are excelling and that we're watching. It looks like they're winning, but they are at rock bottom because there has been so much sorrow added to it. I had a conversation about this earlier, just a brief conversation about how much a more narcissistic, self-serving, self-seeking, self-aggrandizing form of Christianity really messes with people's purpose in life and the goals that they want to achieve. Some of us have such a need to be seen and uh, important and special beyond what, you know, who we are in Christ and his sacrifice for us. And that can really lead us to a treacherous place. It's my prayer that your steps would not be skewed and that your vision would not be clouded by external pressures, that you would not be seeking the things of this world and leading yourself to a place that you're going to need to be rescued from. That's my prayer. Lord, show us the way we should go. Thank you, God, for guiding our footsteps. So again, in that vision, I saw a person defending themselves furiously. Jesus. I hope that you never end up in battles that you were never meant to fight, that you don't have to be humbled in ways that you could have avoided. My God, it's so important that we seek first the kingdom and its righteousness, that we look for his will and not our importance in worldly matters. God bless you. Praise God. Talk soon.